everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be sharing with you a delicious Cuban style mojo marinade that is full of citrus flavor, garlic, onion, and some seasonings, and you'll think you're in the Caribbean. So let's go see how this all comes together. All right, we're going to share the ingredients that go into our Cuban style mojo sauce. Now this is a marinade, but mojo is really, it's an animal unto itself. I don't know a lot about it, but I do know that for a lot of years I bought mojo in a bottle. And when I realized what was in it, I realized I was being simply silly because this is so easy to make and 10 to 100 times more delicious than the stuff that you buy in the bottle. Don't get me wrong, the stuff in the bottle is really good, but this stuff that I'm going to show you how to make is really, really good, isn't it? I mean, this stuff is delicious. So I have a very good friend, uh, Liza, and she is Cuban. Well, she comes from Cuban descent, and I had her input on this recipe, and I kind of concocted it myself based on several factors that go into a regular mojo. Now, this is a citrus mojo, and generally mojo made in Cuba is going to contain bitter orange. Since I don't have access to bitter oranges, we're going to put one cup of orange juice, a half a cup of lime juice, and a half a cup of lemon juice. That's our base. Then we move on and we use a quarter of a cup of chopped garlic. Yes, a quarter of a cup of chopped garlic. So you can chop a whole lot of fresh garlic or you can do what I did and use the stuff in the jar that um, I always keep in my fridge. This is perfect for a marinade because it's super quick. You're also gonna use one medium sized sweet onion and you're gonna dice it very, very fine, almost to the minced stage. Then we're gonna season this up. We're gonna use a half a teaspoon of cumin. This is optional, you don't have to use that. We're also gonna use two teaspoons of dried oregano and a teaspoon, two teaspoons of cracked black pepper and a teaspoon and a half of, this is kosher salt, you can use whatever salt you like. Now, some people use cilantro, some people use more cumin, some people use less cumin, some people do it their own way. And that's what I'm gonna tell you. You should do this however you prefer. Once you start making it and you decide that you like it one way, maybe a little bit more of this, maybe a little bit less of that, then that's what I encourage you to do. We're gonna go ahead and put all of the juices right in to our blender. Now I'm using my, this is my Ninja blender, the one that I use for smoothies and juices and just about everything else that you can think of. We're gonna put everything in here and we're gonna waz it up. Now, some people tell you to do just the um, everything but the onion, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that it's just easier to put everything in here all at one time and get it all ground up together and then you can pour it right over whatever it is you're marinating. Today, we're gonna to be doing some chicken and Rick is gonna fire up the grill so get your blender on its base and we're just gonna hit blend. And that's it. Super simple and boy, is it worth it to make your own. Get the lid off here and I'll show you what it looks like. It smells incredible. You can use a regular blender, right? Oh, you can use a regular blender. You can use a stick blender, you can use a regular blender, whatever you got. Do you have a smoothie blender? Use that, it's no big deal. Now I'm just gonna taste this for seasoning. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. mm. There you have it, a delicious Cuban style mojo marinade that's chock full of lemon, lime, orange, garlic, onion, and some delicious spices. We threw this, um, we threw it, we put it with some chicken breasts and we let them sit for a couple of hours and we threw them on the grill until they were done to perfection. I have to tell you, when you'd marinate chicken, in this marinade, it comes out so tender, it's like butter. You can also use this on a pork shoulder or pork chops. You can use it on fish or shrimp, and it's going to be outstanding. Chicken should really marinate for about two hours. Pork, 
chops the same. If you're doing a pork shoulder, I would do that overnight. If you're gonna do some fish or some shrimp, I really wouldn't marinate that longer than 20 minutes to a half an hour. And otherwise, you're gonna actually cook the flesh of the fish or the shrimp. And you don't wanna do that. You don't want ceviche, uh, unless you want ceviche. But, you know, um, this is just a wonderful marinade that you can have uh, under your belt to make any time because most people I know will have these ingredients on hand. So I hope that you enjoyed learning how to make marinade. I thank you for stopping by my kitchen today so I could show you how. If you like this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope that you give this Cuban style mojo marinade a try. If you do, leave me a note down below and let me know how, you, how it turned out and what you thought about it. So I hope you try it, I hope you love it, and until next time, I'll see ya. And you and your kids are gonna love them. If you have kids, you don't have to have kids as an excuse to make this because it's delicious anyway. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit of cinnamon. I'm gonna add